Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day, April 22nd, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 22nd of April, did I say August before? April. <laughs> I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Um, just because this is dated for the 22nd of April doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, that is the message for you in that moment. Yes? Um, also keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, so we are doing happy hour tonight. Yeah, yeah. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live here on YouTube. Uh, performing single question readings discounted to $25. If you would like to get in on the list, check the description box down below. There is all the details are there for you. Um, uh, PayPal.me slash Divine Conversation. Send $25. Make sure to put your question in the notes section so that I have your question ready to go when we get into the session. We are starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will be live here on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So come hang out with us. Either get a reading or just came, come hang out and have fun because happy hour tends to be a lot of fun. Like lots of fun. So I'm kind of excited. It should be, whoops, it should be a pretty good time. Yeah? All right, kids. So let's just, let's just get into it and see what we've got for what today. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to give this five shuffles today one i didn't get a preview of the energy while i was praying just now so and now they're telling me i'm being instructed to give five shuffles that was two so this could be maybe we're talking about a new storyline today oh boy oh boy <laughs> three we shall see though four And five. Whoops. Okie dokie. Artichoke. What's going on with the collective today, spirit? What would you like to discuss with us today? What is on the docket? Okay, seven of spring, seven of wands. Okay, eight of wands. All right, well, maybe it's not a new... <laughs> maybe it's not a new narrative. Uh, renewal or judgment. And the queen of winter. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> or in other words, the queen of, uh, queen of wands with... Not, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords with the Page of Wands, or in this case, the Princess of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> I mean, to say that... To say... Let's just say Honey Badger doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> any of, if any of you remember that video. It was a YouTube video for a while or something, I don't know. But it was a thing. Honey Badger don't give a fuck. And basically what I'm getting here is someone has gone through a transformation and straight up doesn't give a flying fuck about anything you have to say about it or anything that anyone else has to say about it. We have the Seven of Spring, Eight of Spring, Renewal, Queen of Winter, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Judgment, and the Queen of Winter. I mean, I basically want to, it's as if this is a recreation of yesterday's energy, which was, um, 
the decision has been made there is no going back but at this point what i'm feeling with this energy now is just like i'm not even trying to go back i don't even want to go back like the, the you okay you might be needing or feeling the need to direct some of this energy at yourself it's like whoa wait a second whoa like hold on a second don't even don't you dare think about going back there keep your boundaries up the queen of swords is like keep your boundaries up the 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 angels have spoken basically with renewal here or with judgment basically it's like the angels have spoken or the universe has sp spoken what do you i'm not really quite sure why you're trying to go back there like that no that's not that's not happening we're moving forward remember eight of wands we're moving forward we're not going back so keep those boundaries all right okay so i guess yeah that's 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 the strongest message that i'm getting it's like you're having to it's like you're having to discipline yourself you're having to train your oh you're having your, to train yourself to continue moving forward i get it i get it it's like it, it you've been conditioned or you've become comfortable with or um, it's become a habit to maybe seek out this situation or be consciously aware of this situation all the time. Have it in your conscious focus, your conscious awareness. And this energy is kind of influencing you or encouraging you to change the program, right? To rise above it. A choice has been made. A new path is in front of you. You're at least going in a new direction. And so it's like, no, you need to stay moving in that new direction. Don't fall, go, don't go back, don't turn your head back, don't turn around, don't look back, don't, don't, don't allow yourself to slip back into that old stuff. Stay in this new direction, this new, um, whatever, this new, new creative goal, a, a new uh, page of wands as a messenger is um creative inspiration it's you know being enthusiastic starting a new creative project starting a new project something that you're passionate about i also see the page of wands as like a uh yes a midlife crisis energy but also um re-identifying yourself in the physical right it's not and it's very similar to the hermit although the page of wands is a little more surface level okay so on the surface like uh, up front and, and center you know you're needing to continue to move in this direction. You're needing to continue to say, uh, no, 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 the choice has been made, sir. I will be moving on. Right? Very interesting. Um, very interesting. The strongest thing I'm getting there is that you're just needing to remind yourself of this in some way. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the Queen of Swords then, or the Queen of Winter. What is she wanting to see, to say? What is she saying? What does she represent right now? Huh, that's interesting. I've never seen the Queen of Swords described as funny. That's what it says. That's what it says on the card. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. Which makes sense, because she would be funny. I, I, I can imagine the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Winter being very witty. But I could also see how that could be very cutting and destructive. And sure, it may sound funny, but she's not always joking. You know, that kind of energy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So what does this Queen of Swords or Queen of Winter... Wow. Wow. Sorry, my window's open and it literally just pulled my door open. Anyway, um, what does this Queen of Winter say? What is going on with this Queen of Winter here? What's going on with the Queen of Winter here? Ooh. All right, well, here's the other person, King of Pentacles. And kind of what I want to say is he only cares about his money. Nah. All right. Um, King of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. All right. So there's a level of remorse here. So there could be an individual that's trying to 
trying to manipulate you back, trying to pull on your heartstrings, trying to play the victim card, trying to play, oh, woe is me. I'm so lost. I'm so lonely without you. Like, how could you leave me? Blah, blah, blah. This, that, the third. It could be even trying to throw material in your face or in your way saying, well, look, I have this or I have all this money or I'll buy you this and this and this. It's like, no, nobody, you don't seem to understand. You can't win me over anymore or you're not going to be able to win me over with material stuff I, that's not i told you all along that's not what i want from you that's not what i need from you right now high priestess eight of swords four of swords seven of pentacles i feel like you're working yourself into a, a men, some sort of mental entrapment now um the high priestess is asking you to keep your higher perspective here, to see the bigger picture in things. So this really could be a situation in which you yourself are faltering, going back and forth. You've made a decision, you know, you went through all that energy and now some of that righteous energy has subsided and you're kind of left with the fear. You're kind of left with the, 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 the guilt, the shame, the regret, the remorse, the sorrow, the sadness and all that. And it, it's kind of influencing you. Well, maybe I should go back. Maybe we can try again. And maybe even this person represented excuse me, represented by the King of Pentacles. It's like, yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, come back. Maybe we could come back. But then, but you're being asked to continue seeing this from the higher perspective, high priestess, because I really feel like you're working yourself back into some sort of, I just heard conformity or mental entrapment with the Eight of Swords. And so you're needing to rest and meditate and calm your mind, calm your ego, quiet your ego down, settle your ego down and remember what it is you've learned here. Seven of Pentacles. I mean, this is literally this. The Seven of Pentacles is saying, look at the history, look at the past. Do you want to continue growing this same fruit or the, do you want to continue manifesting the same harvest over and over and over again? Or have you learned the lesson at this point? Okay, let's, so then with that said, let's talk about renewal or judgment. The wake up call, the, the, the alarm going off, you know, that kind of thing. The time is up. The timer is going off here. Nine of pentacles. Have you recently come to realize that you actually would be better off on your own? Nine of Pentacles with the sun. Good God. Yeah. Cause it's and it's crazy with the hanged man at the bottom of the deck. I mean if the if this card if these cards, excuse me, don't represent a, a level of understanding of saying, you know what, I'm better off on my own. Or at least I'm better off going in this direction. I'm better off making this decision for my own self. If this doesn't mean that, I don't know what does. Nine of Pentacles with the sun and the hanged man at the bottom of the deck. The hanged man is representing that change in perspective. The Nine of Pentacles is representing freedom, space, abundance, independence. And the sun is saying, yo, it is all Gucci, Fendi, and Prada up in here, motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? It's so crazy because as soon as the Nine of Pentacles came out, I heard, you know what? I'm better off on my own. And that's what led me to ask that question. And as soon as I asked that question, I turned over the sun. I mean, come on. All right. So you're really being, you're, mm, you're being reminded of your sense of independence and the strife that you went through to, to, went through to get to this realization. Make sense? Yeah. So with that said, then let's talk about the seven of spring here. What is the seven of wands, please, spirit? What is that? I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I don't know if you can hear this, but I don't know what's going on. And my window... Ooh, ugh, my window's open. Hold on a second. Of course, as soon as I get to my window, it's, it's done. I have never heard that before. It was some big, loud announcement. Um, maybe coming from the school that's like two blocks away, but... Okay. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but that was strange. Okay. So 
Talking about the seven of wands here, seven of spring. What is the seven of wands? Please spirit. Ooh. Three of wands. Yeah. Look, you. Okay. Okay. Lordy. Um. With the moon now. See, here's the thing, you guys. Three of wands, five of pentacles, the moon. Three of wands is talking about having been on, being on the path, having gotten this far, okay? Having put so much time, effort, and, and, and energy into your situation to rise, only to rise above it, which is, which is great, which is fine. In some cases, yeah, that is bittersweet because you expected one thing and you got something completely different, but ultimately it's all part of your path anyway, even though you quite don't quite understand everything right now all right three of wands with the moon but then here's this five of pentacles crap with the oof with the ace of swords in reverse okay um and strength is at the bottom of the deck keep your keep your boundaries guys because what i'm really feeling here is there is definitely some deception involved in this situation between the ace of swords in reverse with the moon upright and the five of pentacles upright i definitely feel like this is a gaslighting energy i feel like there is an individual or there is something about this situation or circumstance that only works to make you feel inadequate to break you down to to, to break down your defenses your barriers your your boundaries in order to manipulate and control and that's what this situation has been trying to teach you all along. Three of Wands. So why is it you would give up your newfound boundaries? The boundaries that probably I'm kind of feeling like for some of you, these are boundaries that you've needed in your life all along. So why would you go back to that? Knowing full well at this point, because see here, you are standing at judgment in the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun energy. And what you're needing to continue to manifest some, or I'm sorry, continue to keep some sort of uh, uh, boundaries between you and whatever this is, that person or that situation is standing here. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in reverse, and the moon. Illusion, confusion, the truth, uh, no, not the truth, lies, deception, gaslighting. But you see, you've come far enough to learn this lesson to stay strong against it. Strength. Okay. All right, so it's just for shits and giggles then. Let's talk about the Eight of Wands. I'm already seeing a chariot energy. The Eight of Wands is a minor arcana version of the chariot or can be represented as a minor arcana version as a chariot. Why do we have the Eight of Wands here? <laughs> okay, five of wands, knight of swords in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, strength, king of cups is at the bottom of the deck. So, okay, so the eight of wands in this situation is talking about communication. Communication may be necessary at this point. Um, what I'm kind of feeling here is what this talking about is, or this is talking about the communication that's necessary as uh, loose ends are tied up. So if you're leaving a marriage, um, you're going through a divorce, uh, you've broken up with your boyfriend, girlfriend, your live-in boyfriend, girlfriend, and now you're having to move out. You are removed. You have left a, a creative team. You are leaving a job. I'm feeling like this is this eight of wands energy is talking about the interim time in between, you know, the moment, like we'll say when you give your two weeks and when you finally get to leave, right? So there's going to need to be communication. There's going to need to be civil communication. There could be lots of tomfoolery, we'll call it, with the five of wands, ego battles, ego-driven battles, um, minor inconveniences, a little bit of chaos, l stupid, petty little shit that people want to like throw in your face just because, you know, they want to give you a hard time. You have to stay defended against that. Stay strong, strength. Stay in your emotional maturity, emotional responsibility, King of Cups. Because quite frankly, you are, uh, uh, okay, you're in the pole position. You, um, you have the higher ground here. All right? So don't let petty bullshit get in the way of this ending 
happening or at least i don't think it would i don't think it would necessarily get in the way per se i mean i can't consciously think of a situation that would resonate with this in terms or in which you know you pop off at the mouth and now all of a sudden you can't leave like okay i don't see that happening but i do see i do see arguments coming in to the situation that could only make it difficult make it more difficult for you you know you don't we don't want that we don't, we don't want to do that we want to make this as smooth of a transition as possible right so keep your wits about you don't give in to the drama don't give in to the arguments don't give in to the pettiness if someone is in fact gaslighting you or purposefully trying to trigger you purposefully trying to get a rise out of you do your best to not give in to that I mean, I know this firsthand. I dealt with this with my ex-husband when I left both times because I left once and he threw a fit. And then I came back because there were circumstances that kind of made sense for the time. But then I got through those circumstances and was extremely aware that I had to leave at that point. And so I left again and he threw another fit. And it was that, and, but what I'm getting at specifically is there was a, there was a, a specific moment where I had about two weeks to find an apartment and move out. Luckily I did it. It's this apartment, but, um, within those two weeks, it's like, there was this one time where he laid a trap for me and, um, we were split up. I was, it, it was a two bedroom apartment. He was in the front room where we had been, where our bedroom was when we were together. And then I was in the back room um, <clears throat> and he had left a note, put a note on his door or the door to, his, the, to the room that he was staying in. And it said something on it. I don't remember what it said on it, but I, but it was something snarky. And I made the mistake of taking a Sharpie and writing on, an answer to that note on his door. And it was just like, as soon as I did it, and as soon as he saw it, and then his reaction, I knew, I was like, oh, Eric, you stepped right into that one. Like, you literally walked right into his trap. <laughs> because then he just started popping off at the mouth, and it was just, it was, I mean, it was just... Don't engage, guys. Just don't engage. If you're on your way out of something and you know they're trying to be petty, you know their 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 narcissism is kicking in and blah blah blah, and they're trying to be a, a petty little shit. Don't, don't, just don't, don't engage. Don't fire back. Don't clap back. Don't even like. Don't even respond if you don't have to. I mean, just don't. It's going to make life so much easier for you. And actually, I mean, okay, fine. There's the ego part of it. You'd probably probably enjoy watching them squirm because they can't get a rise out of you or they can't get a reaction out of you. Okay, that that's a little satisfying too. I'm not going to lie. But again, let's not be petty here. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. I'm wanting to move to the golden universal tarot because i want to get some uh, just some advice moving forward because we've got we're talking okay so we've got the energies down we know what's going on around us but how do we move forward here what advice do you have spirit moving forward last shuffle all right so how do we move forward spirit What advice do you have for us in moving forward? Temperance. Yeah. Patience. Patience is necessary, y'all. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Wands. All right. Um, we have the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and then the Ace of Wands was, caused, was catching my attention. Um, so, look, you've made your choice. You made the decision, all right? I almost want to tell you there's no going back now. That's what we said yesterday. But it's not even dire like that. It's like, I feel like some of you are, might, might be dealing with some delays, some bumps in the road, whether that be because of the coronavirus pandemic or it's just your life circumstances because this is a timeless reading. So whenever this, you know, whenever you watch this, it could be resonating for you. So that doesn't mean, I mean, you could be watching this in 2021, you know what I mean? And it's resonating for you. So like, whatever, it doesn't have to be the, the pandemic that's <clears throat> blocking you or, 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 um, 
um, slowing your progress. Uh, so for some of you, I feel like you're questioning or wondering if you did in fact make the right choice because things aren't quite moving as smoothly as you would have wanted them to or as smoothly or as quickly as you thought they would. Um, I'm hearing that's just overzealousness. That's overexcitement. You're, you're trying to move too fast here. Okay, just be patient. All right, let's get a little bit more on that. What else do we have for advice moving forward, Spirit? I just feel like this temperance energy, yes, indeed. There's the tower. The temperance energy feels like things are coming together. Something is being re-alchemized. Something is being manifested. Something is being um, built anew after a tower has fallen. So yes, you're going to have to give it time. Spiritually or energetically speaking, depending on your... The, your, your um, proficiency with you know manifesting and all that energetically speaking or outside of the physical realm things appear instantly right well we're in the physical realm so yeah it might energetically appear instantly or in other dimensions it might appear instantly but we're here in the three-dimensional world it's going to take some time to grow and to build okay especially after a tower moment i mean something pretty big was destroyed there's you're, you're probably left with a <laughs> I'm hearing a gaping chasm of a space that, you know, is now vacant, right? So you're going to have to let it give it time to, sh to, there you go, Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. You have to give it time to let it take shape, to let it take form, to let it manifest, all right? I'm, I'm wanting to continue, so let's continue. What else have you got for us, Spirit? Advice moving forward. Advice moving forward. Okay, there's the King of Cups again. I'm hearing, with the King of Cups, I'm hearing stay in your emotionally stable and grounded state. That is all that's necessary here. You do have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck now. Okay, well, that makes sense as to why that's being said with the Five of Cups here. So um, there are going to be, I want to say there are going to be some growing pains here, but looky here. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. All right. King of Cups is representing the emotionally balanced and grounded state, continuing to move forward with what your heart is calling you towards. The Queen of Pentacles is reminding you of what your worth is. And this is another energy that's saying to you, uh, uh honey, don't you go back to that. You know, that's not a reciprocal situation. Right. So don't you dare go back to that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. We will not clean up someone else's mess for them. They can get a rag. They can get some Clorox and they can clean it themselves. I mean, they made it, didn't they? Why is that our responsibility to clean? Uh, she goes, I do enough cleaning around this house. I don't need you coming in here, making all this mess, expecting me to clean it up for you. Bitch, bye. <laughs> and then you have the Empress right next to that, which is culminating that energy in saying to you, abundance is at your disposal. Abundance is at your fingertips. You do not have to settle. You do not have to be... You do not have to dumb yourself down. You do not have to water yourself down. You do not have to, uh, to show up or require yourself to be anything less or anything more, really, than who and what you truly are. Honor that. Embrace that as fact and take this energy with you as you move forward, confidently creating what it is that's, that's right for you or necessary for the next part in your path. Okay? That's beautiful. I love how the King of Cups is showing up twice here. What's underneath you? Oh, look, the hanged man. <laughs> I love that. That is so beautiful. Okie dokie. Oracle guidance. Let's close this reading out today. You know what? I'm wanting to go with the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle for today's Oracle guidance because I, want, I just want to give you... Um, more guidance moving forward. Okay, so let's see what act, what what uh, geometrical activation can really help you the most right now as you make this transition, as you leave the past behind. All right, alrighty, so. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, card number 29, healing. 
The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic Hold on, let me do it this way. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. That very much feels like the seven of pentacles energy, learning through the contrast, taking what has happened and putting it into place and saying, okay, so we're going to act accordingly now. And then finally, you have, and we're not going back to that. We're not accepting that any longer, right? Finally, you have emergence. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place, okay? Wow. You don't have to be so serious about this as you're moving forward. You don't. You can look, I mean, yeah, take what happened in the past seriously, sure. But as you're looking forward, as you're moving forward, be excited, be happy. I mean, you're clear, you're free, you're, you're moving on to bigger and better things. Allow your childlike innocence to, to really come forward and help you, help you build, help you grow, help you manifest. What it is it you want to see? Have fun with that. Allow the healing that this situation ultimately has brought to you to influence you in making a better life or choosing a better direction moving forward or or building something new better for yourself something that you really enjoy something that makes you happy it doesn't have to be so damn serious you know what i mean let's get one more closing message i want to get it from the dragons too all right so we get double we get double oracle guidance today let's just get one card from the dragons one message please <clears throat> last shuffle all right last message please spirit what guidance do you have for the collective please dragons is earth and fire dragon Ooh, works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines it is time for service when you give you receive that's cool so let's read that earth and fire all right. This is a card of service for the fourth dimensional brown and orange earth and fire dragons are calling on us now to help them clear and light up the new ley lines of our beautiful planet. Uh, the original ley lines were called dragon lines for they were maintained by the dragons of old. Now a new fifth dimensional ley line system is being placed into the earth to carry golden Christ energy and prepare the planet for the new golden age. The dragons of earth and fire move these ley lines, creating a path of light through which the higher love frequencies can flow. And the guidance here says, humbly invoke these dragons and have a sense of, uh, and have a sense of the power of the flaming orange fire combined with the grounding brown earth. Reach out a hand to touch the dragons. Then visualize earth being crisscrossed with lines of golden light. Picture these dragons anchoring this golden Christ energy wherever there are sacred places on the globe. Mentally place a golden flame at each of these sacred portals until you sense our planet lighting up. Whenever you are out walking or driving, ask the magnificent earth and fire dragons to travel along the ley lines below you. Bring the Christ light down through you so they can distribute it where it is most needed. When you give, you receive. The earth and fire dragons will illuminate the, challenge, the challenges on your route ahead, and as soon as you have acknowledged them, they will dissolve them. They will smooth your path. It would also allow you to step lightly on into your role as a master as the new golden age approaches. Hmm. 
All right. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I look forward to seeing you all this evening at happy hour, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. But if not, then I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.